Hello, it's Keely, and today I have a cup of tea and feel very like Carrie Hope Fletcher, so that's fun. And I'm going to be talking about my top three theatre picks for the West End. So, to put it more simply, today I'm going to be talking about my top three West End picks. Okay, so I would say I've been to a fair few West End shows. I'm actually going to try and count. <laughs> I can't remember <laughs> but I've been to quite a few I'm not like a season well I would say I'm quite a seasoned West End goer but um yeah I wouldn't say that I'm an expert so these are my top three picks for if I couldn't see anything but three West End shows for the rest of my life these are the ones I would see okay in spot number three is Matilda an exception to the rules in my school Matilda, if you don't know, is based on the book by Roald Dahl. It is a wonderful musical. It's very child friendly. Before I went, I read the reviews. Somebody said it's very loud. Da, da, da. It's really not. It's very child friendly. I loved it. I knew all the songs before I went though, so I was like totally jamming out, but obviously not singing because pet peeve, people singing in theatres. Um, I love it. It was, it's so good. Um, the main role is obviously Matilda, but also it highlights Bruce a lot more, I think, than the book of the movie does, so that's really nice. And yeah, it's just singing and kids, and it's so good, like, the children are so talented, so I would definitely give that one a go. It's at the Cambridge Theatre, I think, yes, yes it is. Um, <laughs> funny story about when I went to see Matilda, I went about this time last year, maybe? Yeah, around this time last year. Um, and... Um, it was the last train back that we had to get because it was like they were striking or something like that So we had to run from the theatre to the tube station to get to Victoria and it was the scariest thing I swear to god it was oh it was horrible My pick for number two is 42nd Street It is a wonderful musical. The opening number is a bunch of people tapping on a stage and it's so good. And um, if you're like me and don't like pyrotechnics, it doesn't have any pyrotechnics in it. The small thing it has is a gunshot, um, which was really good for me because I was like so expecting it, but there is none. So I would definitely, definitely go see it again. Um, it follows a really kind of inspirational story, I think, of like someone starting from the bottom and like getting what like achieving their dreams and getting to be on Broadway which I think is super cool and also the theatre theatre royal Drury lane is gorgeous like go in there take photos 
it's wonderful it's a wonderful show the stage is massive it's just amazing it's really good oh actually i have an honorable mention because it's not actually on the west end anymore and if it was it would probably be in the top three for me um there was a small period of time where there was a show that had amanda holding in it called stepping out excuse me is this the tap class Now, Master, I suppose I better. God! Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, I've snagged my tight. Have you been doing it long? No, it's all in the jeans, sweetheart. My mother was bitten by a tap dancing mosquito. Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to present the Mavis Turner Tappers. It was so good like I went to see it and oh my god it was so good like it's about these women who learn how to tap dance it's just like very cheesy like feel good it's very feel good but then there's like some complicated storylines in there and it's just so good like I don't understand why it isn't there can someone bring it back because I would literally go see it a ton more times I've only seen it once but I really want to see it again and it's not there anymore but it that was at the vaudeville theater and my pick for number one is Wicked. Wicked is my personal fave. If you know me, you would know that. I've seen it twice now, which isn't even that many times. I'm going to see it for my 16th birthday, I think. I'm going to try and get front row seats. Mm. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it's just a really great show. It's about the untold stories of the Witches of Oz. Um, when I first went to see it, it had Rachel Tucker and Susie Mavers, Mavers or whatever. She's really great. I really like her. Um, in it and I had to leave halfway through because the same train situation happened um, but then I went and saw Rachel perform in Horsham and she was great I love Rachel so much um, and when I saw it the second time it was just recently and it was Alice Fern and Sophie Evans and I kid you not I could not speak for like an hour afterwards it was so ex I literally was gobsmacked at how good it was it was so good. I've just realised my deodorant has been in shot this whole time, so <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really, really, really good show, and it's at the, po the Apollo Victoria. So basically, it's just across the road from Victoria Station, which is really great, and it's so good. Like, the singing and the dancing and everything is amazing. I recommend that you go. Okay, those are my three top picks for the West End. I'm probably going to do a theatre tag sometime really really soon i go back to school on tuesday which is weird um so yeah then i'll be talking more about theatre stuff but what was this <laughs> um but i shall see you tomorrow when i'm going to get a new phone it was meant to be yesterday but ha huh, people screw up um bye